this morning in Pastor's Corner. Pastor talked about how Satan wanted her to leave me, leave the church, leave God. And all of this is representative of what God says in his word. Satan comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Satan comes to separate you or have separation mm -hmm. for splitting up mm -hmm. to put a petition between you and what God would have for you. A detachment from God. All this comes to it means to divide. Mm -hmm. So say today's moments of inspiration is on division. Divisions in the church always breed skepticism, skepticism in the world. We must look out for one another, for selfless concern will provide, prevent division and build unity in our church families. When we walk with the Lord, we'll be divided from the world. And to take with us Hebrews 4 and 12 tells us, For the word of God is living and powerful, yeah. sharper than any two-edged sword, yeah. piercing even the division of soul and spirit, yeah. and of joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Yes. Divisions often arise from jealousy. God kept his promise to bless Isaac. Yes. The neighboring Philistines grew jealous because everything Isaac did seemed to go right. Mm. So they plugged up his wells and tried to get rid of him. Yes. Jealousy is a dividing force strong enough to tear apart the mightiest of nations or the closest of friends. Mm. It's a force it forces you to separate yourself from what you've been longing for in the first place. <laughs> when you find yourself becoming jealous of others, try thanking God for their good fortune. Before striking out in anger, consider what you could lose. A friend, a job, or even a spouse. Division can arise when we when we take a stand for the truth. Mm -hmm. There is no middle ground with Jesus. Amen. When he asked the disciples if they would leave also, he was showing them they, they, that they could either accept or reject him. Jesus was not trying to repel people with his teaching. He was simply telling the truth. The more people heard Jesus' real message, the more they were divided into two camps. The honest seekers who wanted to understand more, and those who rejected Jesus because they didn't like what they had heard. Many of Jesus' followers had deserted him, and he asked the twelve if they were going to leave him also. And Peter replied, To whom? Would we go? Amen. In a straightforward way, Peter answered for all of us. Amen. There is no other way. Amen. Though there are many philosophies and self-styled authorities, Jesus alone has the words of eternal life. Amen. People look everywhere for eternal life and miss Jesus Christ, Amen. the only source. Amen. Stay with him. Especially when you are confused or feel alone. Yes. Divisions can arise from misplaced loyalty. Yes. The Corinthians had split into various cliques, each following their favorite preacher. Paul, Apollos, Peter, etc. Each clique really believed that it was the only one to have the whole truth and thus felt spiritually proud. But Peter told the groups not to boast about 
trying to be tied to a particular preacher because each preacher was simply a humble servant who had suffered for the same message of the salvation of Jesus Christ. Amen. No true preacher of God has more status than the other. Amen. How much, how easy it is for us to become attached to a spiritual leader. When someone has helped us, it's natural to feel loyalty. But Peter warns us against such pride in our favorite leaders that we cause divisions in the church. Yeah. Any true spiritual leader is a representative of Christ yeah. and has nothing to offer that God hasn't given to him or her. Yeah, amen. Don't let your loyalty cause fighting slander or broken relationships. Make sure that your deepest loyalties are to Christ and not to his human agents. Amen. Those who spend time debating church leadership then declaring Christ's message don't have Christ as their top priority. Amen. Let me tell you a fable. According to an African fable, four fingers and a thumb lived together on a hand. Amen. They were inseparable friends. One day they noticed a gold ring lying next to them and considered to take it. The thumb said that it would have it would be wrong to steal the ring, but the four fingers called him a self-righteous coward and refused to be his friend. That was just fine with the thumb. He wanted nothing to do with their mischief. That is why legend goes, the thumb still stands divided from the other four fingers. Oh, Wanting something doesn't make it good. Achieving something doesn't make it valuable. Amen. Having strong feelings about something doesn't make it right. Amen. As Jude wrote in Jude 1, 18 through 19, they said to you, in the last days there will be scoffers who will follow their own ungodly desires. These men will, these are the men who divide you, who follow mere natural instincts and do not have the spirit. Amen. With the division of soul and spirit, God performs divine surgery to remove the greed, dishonesty, hatred, pride, and selfishness that live in the deep shallows of our hearts. Yes. It's easy to stand with a crowd. Amen. It takes courage Amen. to stand in division and stand with the Lord. Amen. 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 <laughs> we thank the Lord for his word thus far. And now we'll be blessed with one more musical selection. And then we will have a word from our pastor. Pray that all hearts and minds open to hear what thus saith the Lord this morning. Amen. 